truck's been on the road for about three weeks. And I just did a little modification. I added another check valve. A lot of pressure coming out to the line here. That is the water fill line. Right now I have a valve on there. There was a check valve, but it's bleeding back through. Since this is under continual operation, a check valve isn't needed. Just an on-off valve is when he fills it because no fluid gets back up into here. For the process, that line goes up to the front. There's a scrubber up there in case some fluids do get into the gas line before it gets to the air box. It scrubs that out of there no worries about it. But also because it's under continual operation, you always add anti-foam into the water mixture. And when you do that, you won't get any foam. But you have a ratio of HHO, 0.1 liter of water equals 1,000 liters of uh, HHO gas. If you draw in 20 liters a minute, that will give you 30 hours of uh, operation. This will, this one here, when it's peaked out, because I have a 100 MPWM, it'll max out about 10 liters a minute. And that also keeps the cell down to below 125 degrees after many, many hours of operation. When you're sitting at 125 degrees, and you're eight hours into it, you know you're doing pretty good. Now, if it went to 200 amps, I'm sure it'd get up to about 135 degrees and feel a little bit of heat, but not enough to make steam. Overall, this cell is doing pretty good. Nice and steady. Hasn't missed a beat in the last three weeks of operation. The mileage on this truck, idle 5.1 to 5.9 gallons per hour. Idle on it right now, about 7 gallons per hour. Mileage loaded, 6.1. Mileage empty, 6.5. And with the HHO, currently at just running what it is with 100 amp. Got it up to about eight miles a gallon. So that's a, you know, a mile and a half to two miles a gallon more on average, which by itself, when it comes to tractor trailers, that's a significant increase. <clears throat> now, if we want to mess with the Select Plus ECM, I'm sure we can increase uh, We'll decrease the fuel rate of the rig itself, but we're not. We're just cleaning it out, increasing burn efficiency doing it like this. There's no modifications to the truck whatsoever, except for the fitting on the airbox. That's it. This is kind of a jury rig mount. So I was going to mount it on a side box, but, uh, well, this truck skirts. I couldn't get up under there, so I just rigged that up, welded on some stainless steel. The future. I'll have a normally mounted box that will have clamps on the sides of the box and just mount it right to the top of the frame. Or with longer extended frames without skirts like Peterbilt's, you just pull off the step and mount the step to, the, to this box itself, and this box will be side mounted on the frame. And it'll probably make it a little bit more compact, get some uh, bright tread going on too. But overall, this is really steady going back out on the road tonight, so I just wanted to check it over. Hope you like this. Uh, please subscribe and uh, another video soon.